Sign of Torment by Kane D. Working on, I believe, a full megawatt, but one episode is complete. 11 map episode for GZ Doom. Supposed to play it on Hurt Me Plenty. And I'm on map 8. Map 8 is, oh, look at that. In this hell. 163 kills and one secret. Well, I'm gonna assume that's not actually the exit. Okay. Got these black key. That's the only way to go, I think. But no shotgun in here, so we'll just carry on. And... Ooh, super shot. No. No super shotgun. Okay. Oh. Oh, gosh. Wow. Still no super shotgun. Rocket. Oh, that's oh, okay. There's a black door and a black switch, and a couple of doors here. here. No hit scanner, so that's good. Hey, there's my black key. Anything up there? Very red down here. Wait, is this where I... Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I think it's basically... Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's... A little horseshoe... And this is my black no, this is my black door. Wait, this is my black door. Ugh. Okay, well we'll try that again. So yeah, I mean again, we've got uh revenants and cac demons and nothing but a regular shotgun, so um I've kind of given up on this map as anything at this wad as really anything but a series of speed maps. It's like I'm not gonna I'm not going to try to kill stuff when I don't have any supplies to do it. So I'm just going to kind of just run and see what happens. But I keep getting blasted by revenants, which is not... Stimpack in there? I don't think I've seen any health yet. Guys. Nice. Ow. Death by Cacnean. Smitten. I mean, there's shotgun shells and shotguns everywhere, but... There's something a little bit better than that, don't I? Get rockets. No launcher. I mean, as much as I don't want to do this, it seems like... The safest thing to try to do is to kill all these idiots with the regular shotgun. There are shells. It's not, I mean, it's not impossible to kill four revenants with shotgun. It's just tedious and boring. But I'm definitely not going to kill all those cacoons and hell knights.
Alright, let's save. Sign of Torment. Four, five, six, Pack Demons, seven. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> Who's gonna wanna do that? And it's kind of the paradox of the, the boredom paradox where you die in some of the easiest parts of the map because you don't want to shotgun Manx. There's a rocket launcher. And I believe that's the first health in the map. Now we've got four teleporters. One of them's different color. That just takes you back there. But there's no reason to go back there. So, I guess we'll, uh, we'll start in the north-west. Well, they all go back to the same spot. Oh yeah, I have the key now, so I can, okay. That's what we're doing. Okay, there's health in the opening room. Was that even always there? Okay, so we open these up now. I really don't like these. Okay. And then a chain gun. That's probably another teleporter. Nope. Yes. jump to these other areas, like over here. Oh. But nothing really to do here, so... <laughs> kind of interesting. not make that jump. Yeah, I don't think it, I mean, it's kind of a nice, it's a cool feature. It's not done the most elegantly. There's a super. Right in front of the door. I, ugh, right key card. Alright. So, I don't remember where I can use the red key card, but. Hmm. Yeah, what I don't like is that you do have to aim yourself, or you could just fall into nothingness and die. sure how to get back to Is 
a red key in the main area here? Yeah, I'm not sure if it was anything red. Red key card. Let's try a different teleporter. They all just come back here. Guess I just gotta find another route. Another path somewhere. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, we'll go up here. We'll go over here. Oh. Yeah. That, that I don't like. I mean, oh, I didn't get this backpack before. Yeah, I don't really like how you have to aim yourself, and it's not really clear what you're necessarily aiming for. Now, you don't know how fast these lifts are, or what they're even going towards. Like, you don't really. I don't think, yeah, I don't think that one goes over there. I think you're supposed to take it to the other path, but you're not really sure of that ever. It'd be better if they were, I think, pointed with arrows, kind of. Alright. So this is the one I haven't been to, I think. Kill him or something? I might. That's boring. Sixty shells later. And we'll be done with this. They're not quite sixty, probably about fifty. We do have one rocket. Might as well use it. Buster him up a little bit. But yeah, this is like the definition of how you don't use barons. Um, but also, how do I get out of this room? Oh. So just randomly one of them's a door? Okay. And then I got smitten. Okay. Okay. So well, at least we know what I have to do now. We'll do that again. I'm assuming that's ultimately going to lead to the... Um, the um, red red uh, key card door. No. Is that actually just the exit? That would be terrific. No, of course not. <laughs> of 
of course. Oh, that was probably not a good idea. Yeah. I kinda like the underwater aspect. Under blood aspect, whatever. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I think this is kind of a cool idea in general, but... Just not sure it has as much elegance in its execution as it could. Well, this isn't what I want to be. There's so many key cards are there. that death. It's a little hard to keep track of where you are, like what leads to where and stuff. Okay. Because now I gotta remember where the red. I've got red everything now, but. <laughs> I think I can go back this way now. I think. This is nothing. Ah. Okay. Nope, that's not right. of that. Okay. <laughs> of course. I don't think that was right. Nope. See what I mean? It'd be nice if there were arrows to kind of tell you which way doesn't kill you. It's not as intuitive as it might seem to be. Does this go this way too? No. So, where do I go on this one? Back over here? Oh, okay. I think I gotta go back over here. Yeah, all this fun stuff. 
my one rocket. Now we got spiders. Eventually it'll work, right? I'm too fat. There's any other way out of here. Right there, made out of skull. That was card. Perfect. There's skull. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of wondering, how do you... How do you justify this many monsters with this little ammo. Like, how many rockets have I fired in this whole map? Ten? Not even? Twice. Isn't that where I have to go? There's a door I haven't been in yet. I don't remember how to get back there, but let's try to figure it out. Whoa. Looks like I can... Just gotta go to the left, in general.
Seems dangerous over there. Why there's white over there? Maybe that's where I need to go. Yeah, here. I just did not see. So what? We're gonna get darkness. Oh, we got fake exits, don't we? Interesting. It's a little quake symbol. No, it's not. So yeah, probably a bunch of these are fake or something. Seems to be a little riddle. Maybe uh, we're supposed to hear something by one of them. <laughs> well, how many of those can I survive? I know what's different about it, though. I don't know. Hmm. Yep. Whatever. So yeah, same old story for me. Um, cool concept. Nice little adventure of going back and forth between spots to get keys and stuff like that. Um, but just don't enjoy the combat when you don't get any good weaponry is all there is to it for me. So um, I don't know, it almost ends up working because Sometimes it's fun to kind of speed run a map. Not that this is true speed mapping by any means, but it's kind of fun not to worry about monsters and just go. So if I had better weaponry, I maybe would be stopping to kill more monsters. So maybe the lack of good weaponry puts me into that more speed run mode, which is kind of enjoyable. But I guess I'd rather have that as a secondary option. I'd rather it be like an added challenge. Ooh, what happens if I speed run this map and forget about the plasma gun and the rocket launchers and all the rockets and stuff? Well, well, there are no plasma cells. There is no tons of rockets, so it's kind of all you can do is avoid all the monsters. Um, the jumping around the pads or whatever was uh, was cool. It was. I don't know if it was executed the greatest. So there were some somewhat awkward moments on there. Um. But yeah, I mean, it's hard to, it's really hard to talk about the combat because I just, my policy in this wad is avoid as much combat as possible, and that to me maximizes the fun, and I don't think that's necessarily a good thing, but still, we get these cool little mini puzzles and grand scheme puzzles throughout the thing, so I think, uh, I think it works as kind of a puzzle adventure wad. It's not really doomed to me. And uh, for me, you know, if a map is, is more fun with zero monsters, then it's not really a Doom map, in my opinion. I mean, obviously it is, but it's not really the style of Doom that I want to play. It's, it's still potentially interesting. But that's what a lot of these are. They, they're maps where I would rather have there be zero enemies than the enemies that there are. Um, the good news is that they'd still be somewhat fun to play. You know, most maps with no enemies are no fun, but this, these kinds of maps with no enemies would still be pretty interesting. So that's map eight. We've got three more to go, and then 
we'll see what KMD comes up with for part two or whatever.